So I have a five-year-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter and a wonderful wife who's expecting a third. And uh, I think about what kind of city they grow up in and I think about what schools they go to and what kind of experiences they have. And just because their father has uh, this level of attainment of education and a, a professional mother, not everyone has that, but they should still be afforded the same opportunities to attend a, a high performance school and get really rich experiences that's gonna shape and mold them into fantastic professionals and, and servants in this community. And that's what, that's, that's what I take a lot of pride in, you know, my two little girls and my family, and how can my family inform the decisions that I make on a daily basis. When you see uh, disproportionality as it relates to suspensions and identification in special education, when you see oversaturation in some communities as it relates to the type of facilities and the number of schools in some neighborhoods, and you see blight and abandoned housing in other neighborhoods, and you see uh, too many of our students ending up in the juvenile detention center, and you see not enough of our, our students uh, attending and persisting in college, there's work to do all around. When you start to think about the number of teachers that we ultimately need to serve our students and the lack of diversity in our schools and you examine what's taking place in higher ed and schools of education across the country and here in central Indiana the work runs the gamut so every single day I wake up and I come into this office you know it's I hit the ground running and whether it's triaging random problems that come up with some of our schools or it's having a policy discussion with the chair of the education committee at the general assembly for the house of representatives those are things that we're trying to address and uh, having a team around me that uh, has their, their, their boots on the ground and work with schools and holding schools accountable allows me to be nimble and flexible enough to have all these types of conversations.